Hi everyone, in this video we will cover simple post request call. So we have our base URL, then we have a body and we will verify whether the it returns status code as 201 and whether the response contains data or not. In the last video we have covered simple get request call. Now we will just comment out this code. For that just write. Using this, we have commented this test case. Now we will proceed with our post request call. Now I have written the test case name here. Then we have given the same tag name as demo. And now I have created the space session. Like we have our base URL mentioned here in the variable section. Then I am just creating the session, session 1 here. And we are mentioning disable warnings as one to disable the warnings then here on this page we have one post call so we will just make use of this now as you can see this is the base url and this is the endpoint now we have written code to create a session and also we have defined one variable for our endpoint now we need to create a body for our request so for that we will write create dictionary name and job we can try the same using post1 so in post1 we have this url and this is our base url and this is our endpoint and in body we have written name as rohit and we have given job as software engine when we execute this it gives us the response status as 201 and also it generates a random id and it shows the created time so this id is randomly generated so that's why we will just verify that this response should not be empty now we will execute our post call so for this we have written post on session session name endpoint and we have given data equals to body so this will take name equals to rohit and job equals to software engineer now we will log our response to console so we will log the response status code and response content on console so using these two statements we are logging the response status code and response content now we will perform certain validations on this response so the first thing that we need to check is whether the response is 201 or not like the response code returns 201 or not for that we will convert the response status code into the string and we have stored it into the status code variable and then we are verifying it is equal to 201 or not this should be equal is there in built-in in robot framework similarly we are checking the response dot content so for that we have written one id path like we have taken the json path so here we have this json path for this id so as you can see it randomly creates one id and also we can get this uh, JSON path like it is the first node. So dollar dot ID will give us the value, the randomly generated value at this location. So for that we have written this statement. Now we will try to execute this. So again to execute this, open terminal and just write robot. Then our file. As you can see, it returns the status code as 201 and we have id as 701 which is randomly created and it is not empty. So both of our validations are successful and we can see the test cases pass. Similarly, we can see the same result in our blog.html file.
for that just open that in one of the browser here everything is in green so mean it means that our test case is passed here you can see one test case got executed and it is passed the other test case not got executed because we have already commented that 